uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings. If you are where, if you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bush. Today, you're going to be having a little chat about the meta surrounding tanks like the Grill 15. Uh, firstly, I'm going to talk about the tank itself, what it does, why it's a great fun tank to drive, um, the play style, what that means for the game. Uh, you probably have heard me come down on one side or the other of this. Also take note um, by how often people hit the gun. That was a gun hit, right? People hit the gun on this tank. There's another gun hit. So often, it's crazy. It's insane how often the gun gets hit on this tank. It's just one of those little things. Um, this, this is about the fact that when I first started taking subscriber replays, this isn't the whole video. I just want to talk about this. The grill was one of the most sent in tanks the waffle tractor as well and it speaks very much to the play style of many many people out there that what they're looking for is a tank that has a really really good gun and can fire from a really long way away with uh out taking any damage in fact it was no surprise that the grill was when i did a shoulder or wonking competition which was basically send in your highest damage gameplay the winner of that was a wonderful man driving a grill. Um, Anoush, well done, buddy. This tank has been nerfed since its original incarnation. I drove it when it was on test, well before it came out, and it got nerfed before it even saw the light of day. It was nerfed from test. It was a baseline 0.27 or something dispersion on the gun, and they've nerfed the engine, and they've done everything they could to try and make it unattractive, apart from making it pointless. Uh, and there's a reason for that, because the, the play style of the grill is a backline play style. But it's also a backline play style that has to move fairly quickly. Because as you saw in that first clip, I couldn't do anything if I had to stay there. I can't spot my own targets and serve up my own damage. I have to have other people spot my targets for me. Now, this is pretty common amongst a bunch of different TDs. I'm talking like the 183, uh, the grill, a waffle tractor. There's so many TDs that are like this, but the grill is really the poster child for it. And it is, as I mentioned, one of the most highly um, played TDs in the game because it can do things like that without, like I've taken no damage this game and I've put out 3K damage. And this is what people aspire to. And then I go and play tanks like this, and everyone knows if you've watched the channel of running length of time how much I love the T62A. It is one of my all-time favorite tanks. I just adore it. It's it's a, an amazing tank, and it's been buffed and buffed as they tried to get more and more people to play the Russian mediums again, um, and to keep up with power creep. But I just never thought it went away. I never thought it was bad, and I still do very very well. And the reason I love this tank is because you influence the game directly. You're a doing tank. Whereas a, a grill is far more a, like, things getting done to everyone else tank. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the kind of tank that can go and hold an angle, use armor and smarts and mobility and camo and, and a really, really good gun with very low alpha. So you've got to work hard to get a lot of shots on and you've got to constantly watch where other people are popping from. And that's the kind of tank that I prefer. I just much prefer to play that kind. It's no knock on the grill, and it's no knock on the player base. This is what the player base loves. Um, they wouldn't be driving these kind of tanks in this kind of case. Um, and it's particularly now that there are so many good heavies running around. But this is what I'm talking about. You are so reliant on your team in one of these TDs. If, it stuns me still how many people drive um, the Waffle McTractor and, and the grill, like when there are so many other options available. But they are so beloved, and you can't you can't beat that. But this is what I'm talking about. I am so dependent on the rest of my team, and the waffle is just—he's kidding himself. Look at look at the two tanks up ahead of us. Like they've just gone to the middle. There's no cover on the flank. Uh, the waffle has pushed the front line in his T9 wafer thin paper armored TD, and this is—and I know this is over. I'm like, what? WTF waffle? Lol. Um, there is nothing I can do. And as the flank continues to become more and more of a problem, um, their grill goes out there. And that's it. We're about to go two tanks down with a whole bunch of tanks over here on the flank. And you're done. 
And this is because this is one of the things I find most frustrating about this tank. I think I played about three or four games in this tank. And there was just simply... I just couldn't keep doing it. It, it is the ultimate in piggybacking for damage. Uh, and you can see me wiggling my thing around, trying to stop people from hitting me. What are you going to do? And then we try and make a last stand here, but it, it's all done and dusted. I'm going to show you the first game I played in this tank as well. And there's two things you really need to understand to play the grill. You need to understand when to rotate. Um, so you've, you've got to constantly move around and keep the team working for you. And I mean, this STV, uh, this Type 61 gets in the way of the shot there and there's nothing you can do. And I know I'm screwed. I'm just like, try and take one with me before we go. Um, but you've also got to understand camouflage and range. There's no way around it. If you can't, if you can't constantly reconnect and sort your camo out, you're not going to do very, very well in this tank. You'll, you'll just sit at the back and average 44% do 2k damage and that's all there is to it. Like, you just... Uh, Praying, praying for rain there, and as as we just get hammered from behind and everyone converges. Would I have done better there in a 62A? I think so. Would I have done better there in another TD? I think so. Anything that I valued most highly is something that can actually hold, so that when it's 1v3 at the end, I mean, I've had some amazing games in the grill where I've, I mean, I remember pulling out like a 6 or 7K draw in this thing where I bounced the last two shots off an M48A1 pattern on vignettes. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is the this is the creme de la creme of a spot. You've got to watch out for your tank and make sure that you do not exceed the rotation or it will move your chassis and that will break your camo and it will kill your net. You've got to run a net in this. You should also be running Spore Liner. Like, I don't think that's any big surprise. Spore Liner was a useless bit of kit when the game first started because... It just didn't really do a whole hell of a lot compared to what it does now. Um, and there weren't a lot of tanks like the Grill back then when the game first started, when the equipment had the ability to run like a spore liner. Uh, and everyone just ran the same thing, which was um, binoculars. <laughs> binoculars, vertical stabilizer, and uh, not or, or not binoculars, and uh, your gun rammer, depending on... Like, there was just a standard medium kit that everyone ran. And you ran it on heavies, and you ran it on mediums, and that was it. Anyway, don't get me started on equipment. That could drag us down. But you can see what I'm doing here is paying very close attention. And I'm being proactive with my movement. I've already realized there's no one here who can spot me. Uh, so I've now got carte blanche to just sit here and take my time. This is the grill. This is the ultimate grill. I donked a perfect shot there by putting it into the roof line instead of putting it on the right. Uh, that, that would have been a big shot. As it is, that's plenty big. Um, that certainly hurt him a lot. That hurt him a lot. Um, this is one of the reasons why. You probably won't see me playing this tank too often. There's a bit of trigger discipline. I'm not firing on that one uh, until I'm absolutely certain that I'm not going to get spotted. And then we just duck back down. Um... What you're trying to do there is basically hit him just as he drives back in so you don't get spotted. Anyway, just one of those things. And this is the tank in a nutshell. It's fast enough. They nerfed the engine because it was just too fast for their liking. Um, it's incredibly accurate. Uh, you've got a, when you're all bells and whistled up, um, you can get it to 0.275. And if, in fact, if you run the refined gun, you get it down to 0.248, which is crazy good. It packs a hell of a punch. It's got incredibly good penetration. Um, you've only got five degrees of gun depression, but you have a turret, which makes it very, very easy to set yourself up. You run your camouflage and your spore liner. Bob's your mother's brother. You're loving it. Easy tank to drive. Easy tank to get good damage in. But I do five and a half K here. And it's a second class because I'm not spotting any of my own targets. And uh, yeah, that's just all there is to it. Now, I'm not saying you can't play it incredibly well and up close and do all kinds of things and I, I don't need to hear you tell me uh oh bushka i can do this and i can do that that's great but what i'm telling you is that as a whole if you're looking at this i mean another he round right up the date it's very much 865 is this is the way the tank functions it's a great tank and people love it and it's just not the kind of play style that i adore. And i think i'm on record when i had 
somewhat of a rant and fought the fight against TDs and massive alpha damage tanks that were just ruining what I considered the classical, beautiful meta of medium domination. And I know a lot of people love their heavy meta, and that's great, but I'll forever be in love with running around in an Object 140 or a T-50, which had its own issues, trust me. It had its own issues. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Look after yourself. Stay safe in the battlefield. Enjoy yourself, and uh, bye for now.